Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain the working of 4 by 2 spool hall with the animation. Here, the 4 by 2 spool hall, first we will know that one. Already I have explained the file taking the 3 by 2 hall. Once again, I will take that is what is meant by 4 by 2 spool hall. The 4 means is a number of ports. The number of ports for the halls. Okay, there are four ports. Okay, T, A, P, B are the four ports for the fall. Then two means it's a position. There are two positions. One is a left position, another one is a right position. That's why the two position and spool means it is a fall element which operates okay during the moment it will be moved to flow make the flow of the fluid that is the 4 by 2 spool hall and the 4 by 2 spool hall what i am taking here that is a manually actuated or it is called as a mechanically actuated also means here we are not going to use any of the force the manually just like a push button or a lever we are going to use to operate this one the manually or mechanically by hand the moment we are going to carry out the, the spool there are many different actuation methods are there electrical actuated magnetic actuated solenoid actuated okay pneumatic actuated like that the different actuation methods are there i am going to discuss later in the further sessions that one here the four ports what are there the first one is a pump which is the port which is connecting to a pump is called as a pump port and here the symbol the filled arrow mark is called as a pump and second one is the actuator the line which is connecting to a actuator during the working stroke that is called as the actuator and third one is a tank here the line which connects to a tank the fluid flow to the tank that is called as a tank port and next one is a back port and in this back port the whenever the during the operation during a working stroke the fluid flow from the other side of the double acting cylinder that is flows from the back port here if you take the double acting cylinder means the double acting cylinder means here the both the sides the fluid will be flowing okay this is the if you take this as the double acting cylinder and in this one this is the piston side and this is the rod end side here the the whatever the fluid flow is there that is the actuator the a from that the fluid is flowing so to the this cylinder during the its working stroke this is the working stroke when it moves the that is the extension cylinder extension that is the working stroke during that time the fluid will be flowing back from the this side the rod and side that is from the back foot and during the retraction the fluid will be flowing to this rod and side fluid will be flowing to this rod and side then the whatever the fluid is there on the piston side that will be moving back to the tank okay moving back to the tank this one directly and the pump will be flowing from this pump flow will be there from this and here also this is going to the tank like this the working of the double acting cylinder will be taking place for this by using the this 4 by 2 spool hall as I explained the 3 by 2 spool wall also that is used for the working of the single acting cylinder and this is the working of the double acting cylinder that means forward and uh, return stroke both are power strokes and now we will take that is <coughs> what are the positions of the holes the position one the position one is the left side the left side we are going to take here whenever it is the spool position is on the left hand side then it is called as a 
position 1 and during that time the pump is connected to the actuator and back from the cylinder will be connected to a tank okay here the p2a b2t that is the first position the second position is the position 2 that is on the right side and when the spool is on the right side the actuator line will be connected to a tank then pump line will be connected to a back line okay that means during the return stroke during the return stroke like this both side are the power stroke here both side are power stroke and the return will be the quick compared to the this forward motion which will have the more power and this working whatever is there that symbolically we can represent like this the four ports the, the pump tank actuator and back a return line and one position we have shown the same will be there on other side also the two positions the four ports one two three four four ports and two positions this side this is the one position and this is another position right position and the left position whenever the right position is there the pump connect here in the symbol it will be when the pump is connected to the actuator back line will be connected to a tank okay this is the uh, right position here and when the left position is there in this one the actuator is connected to a tank then this pump will be connected to a actuator and this is the spring return the spring whatever is shown whenever the lever is not operated it comes to the neutral position neutral position and if the operation left hand side if you take then it will be operates like this and right hand side it will be operates like this here the what the this working animation we have taken here the reverse will be there this is taken as the left okay this is the left it is taken this position and this position is taken the right right position it is taken okay the scene the symbol it will be like this in the okay left position it will be connected to pump to connect actuator tank back to the tank and the right position the pump to the actuator and this again from the actuator to the this uh, sorry this uh, back right position here the pump will be connected to the back and the actuator will be connected to a, this tank line like this operation will be taking place and this is a lever manual actuation what i've told this symbolically we can represent like this lever we are going to go for its operation okay this is about the working of the 4 by 2 spool hall which is mechanically or manually actuated next we will take that is the working in the expansion in position 1 the spool is connected to pump p to the a and port b to t this allows the pressure flow from the p to a while the return from b to t in position 2 spool is connecting for ports to p to b and ports a to t this allows the pressure flow from the p to b while the return from the actuator to tank such a valve is used to double acting cylinder used in the double acting cylinder thus position 1 causes the extension of the cylinder while the position 2 causes the retraction of the cylinder okay here the position 1 whatever is there that will be cause the extension of the cylinder and position 2 is the retraction of the cylinder okay here the the whatever this the four ports are there and also two positions we are going to explain with respect to this and the positions also we have mentioned here each position what those are connected p to a and b to t a to t and p to b in both the positions we have already taken this one and further the different types of the 5 by 2 and 5 by 3 uh, spool valves i am going to explain in the next sessions also i am going to explain the expression methods thanks for watching if you like share, subscribe and comment.